Finding x and y-intercepts of a line given the equation. Advanced. Find the y-intercept and the x-intercept of the line. So we're going to use the fact that intercepts always have one coordinate of 0. So if I'm looking for the y-intercept, my x value is always 0. <clears throat> if I'm looking for the x-intercept, my y value will always be 0. So the opposite variable is always 0, okay? So to find the y-intercept, we'll do this one first since I listed it first, okay? I'm going to zero out or basically ignore the x term in my equation. And I'm left with 4y equals 12, okay? So I have 4y equals 12. Uh, if you can do this in your head, right, 4 times what number will give you 12? Or you can just do a little one-step solve here. Divide out your coefficient, and y is equal to 12 divided by 4, or 3. So my y-intercept is 3, okay? To find the x-intercept, I'm going to zero out the y term, okay? So if I ignore or zero out that y term in my equation, I'm left with negative 5x equals 12. Okay, now, the reason they're calling this one advance is because here you can see this one isn't going to is, uh, simplify quite as nicely, okay? If I try to divide, or you may not be able to do this one in your head as easily as this one over here. If I divide out by negative 5, my x is equal to this fraction, 12 over negative 5, okay? So they have no factors in common, so this isn't going to reduce or simplify at all. So I could leave it like this, okay, negative 12 over 5, or I could change it to its decimal equivalent, okay. So if I do 12, and I'll even put the negative 12 divided by 5, the decimal equivalent is negative 2.4. Usually when we're graphing, this is the easier one to visualize, right? It's kind of hard to visualize where is 12 fifths on a number line. Um, so this intercept would be at negative 2.4. So the y-intercept is 3, x-intercept negative 2.4.